Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. This is a quick how to clone your SSD drive, or I should rather say your boot drive from a smaller SSD or an old hard drive to a brand new SSD of your choice. Mine's was the Western Digital Blue. It's a 500 gigabyte SSD, and I had to switch it out about a week ago, and it really wasn't as hard as I was thinking it would be. I knew the risk, I knew that I might lose Windows, uh, I might lose everything on my boot drive, but I followed directions as Western Digital gives on their website and it was actually pretty easy, it only took about an hour. So I'm going to go through and show you how exactly to do that and how you really shouldn't be too afraid as long as you follow the instructions. Alright, so first things first, you're going to want to turn off your PC. Uh, this is because you don't want to be messing with the boot drive while the power is on because that could lead to uh, some really bad stuff, especially memory loss in your boot drive, which is probably the worst memory loss you can have. And now that your PC is off, we're going to go back and open up the back where the SSD drive is and where all the cords are. Okay, now we have here my SSD hooked up in the back. So as you can see, this SSD needs two cables in order to make this function. We have the one on the left, which is the power cable, and we have the one on the right, which is the SATA cable. Now, in conjunction, these two make the SSD work, uh, which is awesome because it gives us a little plan as in what we need to do to hook up our new SSD. We don't want to hook it up to the same power and SATA port as this one is, but we can take a power cord and a SATA cable from a different drive, one that isn't as important as the boot drive. So what I am going to use is I'm going to take the SATA cable from one of my hard drives. I have one empty hard drive so it doesn't matter, it's not like you need it to boot. So I took that SATA cable and I'm going to plug it into my new SSD. I also have a bunch of power cables just laying around, I see it's been chained together. I'm going to take one of those as well. Okay, so here's the system from the back, here's all the cords, I pulled some stuff out. Here is my boot drive, it's this. SSD right here and then I just plugged in my new SSD right here. Okay now we are pulling up the the Western Digital software for cloning. Uh, I pulled it up right here and we're gonna click into this website and you're gonna see very quickly that there's a download button. This is to download that specific software to clone your drives. And it's actually very simple. They have very good instructions letting you know from point A to point B what you need to do. Okay, I think it's working here because it says cloning and I trust that it really is doing what is it is saying. Okay, so the cloning software finished its job and it shut down my computer. At that point I opened up the back and I unplugged both the SSDs, the, the new one from the hard drive socket and I replaced those. And then I unplugged both the cables from the old boot drive and I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna plug them into the new SSD which is now my boot drive okay we're now down to the very last part and that is to check to see if the SSD is now making my computer perform better so I always recommend user benchmark it's just something that came on my computer by the guy who made it so I've been using it to see how my specs are doing. Now I'm going to set it up and I'm going to let it run and it's going to give me my results here. Oh, and here are the results. So it is showing good. It looks good across the board. It looks even better across the board than before. Looks like my CPU is running better and my GPU. It's giving me higher ranks on those. And my boot drive is actually performing way better than expectation now which I am really happy about because that was the one faulting thing on the computer after I switched the fan out. Okay, now isn't that awesome? All I had to do was switch out a one component and it honestly boosted my scores in gaming as a desktop and as a workstation. These are three things that are very important when get having a PC is knowing its capabilities. Now as somebody who's new to this, I really wanted to share because I know a lot of you may be new to it as well. and. And as much as other YouTube channels have covered this specific thing and how to clone a drive, typically that's coming from someone who I think does that for a living. And so, and so for someone like me who just got a PC and who likes to do things themselves, 
this was just really an awesome experience. It gives me more confidence in messing around with this thing. And who knows, in the f near future there might be some other upgrades. By the way, let me know if you're planning on doing something similar. If you run user benchmark on your computer and you find some issues, comment down in the section below and let me know what kind of issues that you're dealing with and what kind of parts may fix that. And thanks again for watching, I just figured I wanted to do a little public service video to help anybody out. So hopefully I see you next time. If you liked that, give it a like. If you didn't, dislike it. And I'll see you in the next video.